President Rodrigo Duterte said he will not allow Superintendent Marvin Marcos and other cops involved in the death of Albuera Mayor Rolando Espinosa Sr. to go to jail. A National Bureau of Investigation probe concludes Espinosa was killed in a rubout and recommends multiple murder charges filed against 24 police officers from the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group. Espinosa was killed November 5 inside his jail cell while the CIDG team was supposedly trying to serve a search warrant for firearms inside his cell. I will not allow this guy to go to prison. Last Friday, Duterte admitted he ordered Marcos's reinstatement despite the decision of Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa to relieve Marcos from his post due to his suspected drug links. Duterte says that as president and thus head of the police force, it is normal that he side with the police. <laughs> Though he did not want the Marcos team in jail, Duterte said he would not interfere in the filing of cases against them. Look, he's from Kahan Tayo. Pag ito mga police, hindi pa naman rin, I do not stop. So ang pahinin sa police, murder, oh, hindi ay. Good! Pahinin ang kaso. The proposal to bring back the death penalty in the Philippines passes House Committee level Wednesday. Voting 12-6-1, the panel approves the committee report on House Bill No. 1, which seeks to reinstate capital punishment for all heinous crimes. There are three proposed methods to carry out the death penalty, by hanging, firing squad, or lethal injection. House Speaker and Bill co-author Pantaleon Alvarez hopes the bill would pass on the third and final reading before Congress goes on Christmas break. The measure is also one of the priority bills of President Rodrigo Duterte. The Philippines was the first Asian country to abolish the death penalty under the 1987 Constitution, but it was reimposed during the administration of President Fidel Ramos to address the rising crime rate. Capital punishment was abolished in 2006 under former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Despite her resignation, Vice President Lenny Robredo still plans to reach out to President Rodrigo Duterte. She says, As for me, I will still reach out to the President because I think it is my obligation to be supportive of him. But Robredo says her views on key issues remain the same. Malacanang previously said Robredo's exclusion from cabinet meetings stemmed from her irreconcilable differences with the President. Robredo resigned last Monday as housing czar after Cabinet Secretary Leontra Evasco Jr. sent a text message ordering her to desist from attending cabinet meetings. Robredo earlier said her opposition to the hero's burial for the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos may have been the clincher. The De La Salle Green Archers are the champions of the UAP Season 79, trampling over rival team Ateneo de Manila Blue Eagles at 79-72. La Salle, which last won the title in 2013, failed to sweep the season after Ateneo dealt them their only loss. This veteran La Salle squad, led by Jeron Tang, outplayed the rookies of Ateneo, who were not expected to reach the finals after star player Kiefer Ravenna graduated. Pop icon Lady Gaga reveals she's going through post-traumatic stress disorder years after being raped. Lady Gaga reveals this during a television interview at a New Yorker shelter for gay and lesbian youth. In 2014, Lady Gaga admitted she was raped when she was 19. Now 30, Lady Gaga urges the youth at the shelter to find the courage to face their problems. Later on Twitter, she thanked the shelter residents for sharing your stories, trauma, and pain, and added, Today, I shared one of my deepest secrets with the world. Secrets keep you sick with shame. 